everyone, it's Wendy from The Nappy Lady. Um, just wanted to do a quick uh, video for you about bamboozles because we've got them on an offer at the moment. So, bamboozles are made by Tots Bots and they are one of the few companies that are actually a genuine British nappy. These are actually made up in Scotland. And I've got the three sizes here for you. You've got size one, size two and size three. So start with the uh, size one. And all of the nappies are very, 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 very similar. Uh, they've all got the same features, so you just get bigger. So your size one is designed to fit from five to 18 pounds. Uh, rule of thumb, that's a low birth weight baby to approximately nine months. So it, a size one, it lasts a good period of time. People often worry that uh, a size one is gonna be something that they're in for two minutes and they outgrow it. That's actually a size zero nappy, which top spots don't make. So size one fits from five pounds up to 18. So at the moment, I've got it in the size that uh, an 18 pound baby would have, but I'll show you how to alter it. So I open up inside and it's got a booster that's attached, but can be easily detached with the poppers. So I take that out, and if I had a baby at the bottom of the weight range, I would remove that for a while. And that just makes the nappy that little bit slimmer, because a smaller baby doesn't need such a bulky nappy, but it also doesn't need the full absorbency. Now on the front of the nappy, you can see you've got poppers, and these are to adjust the length. So you've got the male poppers up here, and a set of female down here, and we just popper those together, and that takes out some of the length of the nappy to fit a smaller baby. Now I call it a bamboozle, it's full name is actually a bamboozle stretchy because it is really, really stretchy for excellent elastics at the legs and at the waist, which is what gives it great containment. There we go, so I've just poppered it down, so it's now in the smallest setting, a little bit shorter. So this will be from a five pound baby. Now it comes with uh, athletes or like Velcro tabs and I've crossed them over. So when you've got a baby at the bottom of the weight range, you cross them over to make a really tiny little diddy waist there. As baby grows, you would fasten them a little bit wider. Now, often people worry about Velcro that catching on fabrics, um, you know, it's gonna pull fibers, but the top spots actually has a laundry tab inside. So when you take off a soil nappy, get in the habit of folding that over. It would just stop them sticking to everything in the wash, but also keeps that Velcro clean. Now, I could never teach my husband to do it. I was always good, he never remembered. It's not the end of the world, but over time, the prickles will pick up fluff. A knit comb is the way to get it out to work through it. Not the, the most exciting a job, but that, that's the way to keep it clearer. Now, the inside of a bamboozle on all the sizes doesn't have any liner. So it's fabulous because you can choose what liner you want. So the two choices you've got, let me just grab them here, are either a paper liner, which is a disposable, and this is a Bambinex paper liner. And you see it's a nice, it's, it's, it's quite a narrow one. It's narrower than a lot of uh, disposable paper liners, so it sits inside nicely. Now, something people often worry about, and we get an email going, oh, I bought these liners, but they're too long for the nappy, because they lay it on, you think it's all gonna hang out. But that's because when you first lay it in there, the nappy isn't stretched. As you put it on, baby, and it stretches, that liner sits inside. So don't panic if you get them and think that, you know, that, that's not, not fitting. So paper liners, a little bit easier because they're disposable. Um, but the other option is fleece, which is reusable. Now, fleece does keep baby feeling drier as well because it allows the wee to go through the liner, but not to come back up. And the other benefit with fleece is long-term cost saving. It's much cheaper. Once you've bought the fleece liners, you've got them. You don't need to keep buying something else. Um, and at this, this time, you know, cost saving, every penny helps. So pros and cons to both, completely up to you, which you um, use. And sometimes you have a mixture of both. And that's what I did. When I had childcare, I would use a paper liner, but at nighttime, I would use the fleece. Completely up to you, nothing set in stone. As baby gets older, you would then put your booster, the one we took out earlier, back in the nappy, and it really does just snap in quickly. Um, and that there again, when you hang it up to dry, it dangles out like a tongue, because that gives you a bigger surface area, so it's quicker drying. Now, as the name suggests, it's a bamboozle, it's made of bamboo. But, however, it's not pure bamboo, it does have a layer of microfiber, and I don't know if you can really see it on the camera, there's kind of a, a line, a sewn in line here, and you can see it along the sides. That's where in the middle of the nappy, uh, put a layer of microfiber. So microfiber is a really quick drying fabric. So rather than having a bamboo nappy that can take three days to dry on an error, it's much quicker. It's more sort of about sort of 24 hours on an error really, um, hanging up to dry. So that's your size one. It goes from five to 18 pounds, rule of thumb up to about nine months. 
Now, all the numbering grooves are a two-part nappy, which means you need to put a cover over the top. So I've just grabbed a, a wrap here. This happens to be a Mother Ease Airflow. There are loads and loads of wraps you can use. This one happens to be one of our favorite ones just overall for any two-part nappy. And you would put the cover over the top uh, and that way you've got two layers of defense. So even if you had the, you know, the biggest punani ever and any poo escape the nappy, you would still have the elastic on the wrap to cover it. This wrap is a medium size, it's not much bigger, but to give you an idea. So when Baby Out grows your size one, you would then move on to your size two nappy. Exactly the same functions. You've got Velcro that can cross over the tabs. Uh, you've got the popper inside on the booster to remove and you've got poppers on the front here. But you'll notice on the size two, you actually have an extra. So you've got the male popper at the top and you've got two females down here. Um, and hi, Machine, I've just seen a message from Machine. Hello, and Machine's one of our advisors. And so the two poppers here are so that you can adjust the length. Um, and officially the size two is a, it, it, it's a size two so that you would use it after size one, but you can use it birth to potty. Um, I say birth to potty, I use that term loosely. It's more like 10 to 12 pounds than that once baby filled out a little bit more. And what you would do is you would pop that down, going to take some length out of the nappy. So then that you would use that from sort of uh, 10 to 12 pounds all the way through to potty training. So that does make the size two a little bit more economical because you're only having to buy one size of nappies. However, also bear in mind that this nappy is going to get an awful lot of wear because birth to potty, you're going to be using it over two and a half years. Whereas if you use the size one first, you're going to use that for about nine months and then move on to your size two. So if you are planning more children, think about these things because then you know you can spread the wear um, and you're going to get more life out of your nappies. The other thing to consider if you're going to have more children is how um, close you might have them. So if your first child is still in nappies when your second comes along and you've only got birth to potty, you're not going to have enough nappies for two children. Whereas if you have the two sizes, size one, your older child is now into your size two. These are sitting in your loft or somewhere, you know, stored, ready for your new baby. So pros and cons to it. The great thing about bamboozles is they make the size three. Now it's again for older children, chunky children, late trainers, often we need a bigger size and some of them can be a real big jump from the standard size to size three and it, it can be really quite tricky kind of getting baby to fit, but not with the bamboozle. Again, the size three, it looks just the same as the size two. There you go, open them up. But you see that extra length to it. It's about sort of an extra length before I even stretch it out. But the great thing is with the size three, when you popper it down, just as you do with the other ones, once it's poppered down, the size three in its smallest setting is approximately the same length as a size two in the full setting. So it's a really, really easy move to go on from size two to size three. So if you have got a chunky monkey, a really tall child, and you're really struggling with your size two, go for the size three. Um, because you're going to move into the smallest size or easy and it, it, it's going to fit a long way through. My eldest child actually had uh, urinary problems and he didn't train until he was, oh, night time, was nearly getting on for about three, three and three quarters. Uh, and he was huge. He was a big chunky monkey. And I moved into the size three. Officially, they start from 35 pounds. I actually moved him into them at about 27 pounds because he had these big rolls on him. And these fitted him through to about three, three and three quarters and they still had room to go on him. He just didn't need the nappies anymore. Now, you can use these daytime. Often people think these are nighttime nappies, but they are day and night. They're one of the few that you can use both. Now, in terms of boosters, for nighttime you need to add something in. So you can use, I'd say you can use any booster, but not all boosters are the same. Some have more absorbency. You can buy, uh, we've got little lamb boosters. Um, people think they're great, they're really cheap, but they only hold about 95 millilitres, which isn't a lot. So you'd need to use two, three, four boosters. Um, I've just happened to bring these ones up. These are uh, some of our best selling ones. These are by Ella's House, and this is hemp. Hemp is a really dense fabric, super absorbent. So this is a bum booster. And you could put that into your size one nappy easily. You could either fold it so it's inside. And you can, uh, there we go, just open it up. So you could fold it for a boy so you've got more absorbency towards the front a girl towards the back, or you could even open it up flat. The other thing I like doing, and I often do it quite a lot, I recommend this on the size one, is because it's such a small dinky nappy, you could put your extra booster around the outside. 
So that way you're getting the extra absorbency that you need, but you're not compromising the fit because the nappy will fit just the same as it does normally, but you've got that extra booster. And then you would put your cover over the top. So there's nothing actually anchoring that booster in place apart from the wax gonna be over the top and baby's gonna be lying on it. But that's a really good way to do it. If you need even more absorbency, I've got one of these. These are the Ella's House um, stuffable uh, boosters. Now, originally they're designed to go into pocket nappies. You can see that's hemp, that's huge amounts of hemp there. But you can again put one of these around the outside of the nappy and that's gonna give you huge amounts of absorbency straight in there. So that's gonna get even the heaviest wetter um, lasting overnight. So there you go, bamboozles. There are for at the moment, we've got the size ones are, the prints on size ones are 25% off. So I think top of my head, it's about £9.34, which is a really good price for um, a top quality uh, British nappy. And we've also got the size twos in prints. They are nearly sold out in the size twos, but they're on 20% off in the prints in size two. The other one I'm gonna quickly show you is also by Totspot, but this is their all-in-one nappy. So all-in-one, all your parts, are in one so as opposed to your bamboozle two parts nappy wrap all in one so I open it up and you'll see the velcro looks just the same as it did on the bamboozle it is the same you can cross your tabs over fit to the main body also got poppers on so there's your male one at the top and then there's your female down here to adjust the length and this is a great thing with um top spots if you use one of the nappies they, they all work in very similar similar ways so inside there we go so there's your absorbent fabric. So that's your nappy part, and this is like your wrap, your waterproofing. Now at the back of the nappy, put your hand in and you can pull out the tongue. And that's again, because it's made of bamboo, it's generally slower drying, it helps to speed up drying because you've got a bigger surface area. Now, if you're really neat, you can stuff that tongue back in there once it's dry and it's tucked away. If you're lazy like me, I always used to just fold it back on itself. Um, either way doesn't make any difference either which you are you can have the knee way or you can be lazy like me again there's uh, no layer uh, no liner in here so you can use either the paper or the fleece exactly the same again they both fit inside there you go that was the bambinex one we always recommend the bambinex liners actually for um, any all-in-one because again you've got the narrowness you're not going to have it sticking out the side you don't need to fold it now the all-in-one it's a daytime nappy don't try and use this for nighttime I wouldn't use it for nap time either there's less fabric this fabric as com um, compared to, let's work with where it is there, that one, compared to, I say, the, the Birth of the Potty Bamboozle. Less fabric, less absorbency, but it's also slimmer. So this could be your daytime option uh, for if you're going out and about, if you want them in a change bag. You, you kind of, it, it is a nice, quick, easy nappy. So that's from Top Spot. So that's their two best selling ones. So that's the easy fit. Um, currently also on offer, not all of them. Some of the prints are I think, 25% off as well. So it makes them about £13.50, which is a bargain for a birthday potty and British made nappy and your bamboozle. So I hope that's helped. If you've got any questions or you're not sure if this is that, you know, are these the right nappies for you? Uh, we've got a questionnaire on the website, um, a questionnaire service. We've been using it for 20 years now. Um, and we've helped over, we're getting towards 30,000 families this year. So if you need some help, fill that questionnaire in um, and then we'll get back to you generally. We say within 48 hours, it, it, we're generally quicker, we're about 24, and we give you a full recommendation of what we think is best for you. Um, if you're particularly interested in a nappy bit, these ones or another one, add a note on your questionnaire that you're thinking about X, Y, or Z, and we will cross check all your information to see if it's the right one for you. Anyway, I hope that's helped um, and speak to you soon.